Hello everyone and welcome. Today I will be talking about new features in Real World Paint and Real World Icon Editor. If you want to try them out today, you can download the latest build of Real World Paint here via this small link or latest build of Rec Icon Editor here. So, I'll start by creating a new vector image and selecting the shape tool because today I'll be talking mostly about the shape tool. Let me get back to the browser. There are lots of icons on the internet and most of them are in SVG format or not most of them but a lot of them. Here is a website that offers some free icons. I have downloaded them and opened one of them here. So this is an SVG image. You can view its source and this is the source of the SVG image. It has one path element and the path element has a D attribute. Let me select all the, the content of the D attribute and copy it to clipboard. So while my shape tool is active I can right click and select paste SVG path and the object appears in the in the uh, on the canvas and as you can see you can of course start modifying it by moving the control handles or whatever you want oh, let me undo it so this object con, uh, con consists of multiple paths it has four components but it is a, it is a single object so one of the new features offered uh, for path is to de decompose an object consisting of multiple parts. We have this command. So if I do it, I get now four objects and I can move them individually. If I select them all and right click again, I can merge them back together. So this is again one object. You have probably noticed there is decompose object and holes command. This decomposes the object even more. Uh, when I use this, this one, you can see that this object still consists of two paths, this circle and this cross. Uh, if I use the decompose object and holes command, you can see that uh, there, there are more shape, shapes created. I can now select this cross and move it outside. So I have moved out the hole, similarly these holes. And, and you can see that this hole is actually using a transparent color. It is a standard object, but is a completely transparent color so it makes it whole. If I now select all the objects and merge them back together I get what you expect. The objects with the uh, that were using completely transparent fill are considered to be holes. Um, so I will now delete this shape and create something new. Let me start with the text tool and I will type text. Uh, in the earlier versions you had already this convert to shape command available. This converts, converts text, polygons, circles, or whatever into a generic shape command. This is now uh, very useful with the decompose object command because uh, now you can type something and move the individual letters. Let me show you uh, more because decomposing and merging object is not all that was added. There are more uh, operations that use 
shapes. So I have now selected these two uh, shapes, the T and the E. And I right clicked here and there are these three operations available. Union merges the two objects into one. So the T and E is merged. The intersection operation gives you an object that consists that was covered by all the original shapes and the difference gives you an object uh, that was covered covered uh, by only one of the original shapes so for example if you want only a part of this text to be visible you can create a shape like this uh, let me use the upper part now I select uh, all the shapes and use intersect oh, sorry intersection no <laughs> that was a bad move because uh, no part of the image was covered uh, by all of the shapes but difference should work and union should work and if I for example make these oh, sorry, only this new shape completely transparent and select all and merge the objects I will get only part of the text so I, I hope you will find uses for these new commands. Uh, what else has changed or for the shape tool? Previously it has it had no configuration, but now there is this configuration panel. And Currently, you can create shape by placing handles like uh, this. Oh, Place handles, draw a bit to define the tangents, and continue as long as you wish. Then you can end path and you have a shape. If you switch to this new to this new draw shape mode, it will allow you to create shape more easily like this by just pressing the button and moving the mouse you can then switch back uh, to the original mode and change the shape by controlling these handles yeah. while drawing you can control the smoothness so if I draw like this then uh, the shape will be very dense, a lot of control handles. If I move the slider here, oh, sorry. there will be less control handles. No, still a lot of them. Um, one more thing I wanted to show you, and that is. When you are in this draw shapes mode, ah, sorry. there are still some uh, UI issues that will change. So I am now I have now drawn this shape, and I am in a draw shape mode. And if I move my mouse, you may see this little line from the edge of the shape to my cursor position if I am near the edge. So if I now start drawing, you can see that I change a part of the shape. I connected these two points and it replaced this whole region. If I start drawing like this, I replace uh, this short line with this new drawing. So you can modify your shapes by starting uh, a new part of the part near the existing edge. 
if I start drawing inside a uh, active shape, I will create a hole. So this should allow you to easily draw shapes. I'm not sure how practical this will be, so try it out and let me know what, uh, if it works for you or not, or what changes you would like to see in the future. Uh, so that's all for the shape tool. Now let's switch to the new stroke tool. This is a cousin of the shape tool, but it's related to line, line and curve. It allows you to create lines, curves, strokes, dash strokes. You can define uh, the width of the stroke. You can or you can you place handles just like you create an outline of the shape. And as you can see, there are again these two modes placing handles and drawing so if i switch here i can draw curves like this so unlike the curve and line tools this new stroke tool supports the outline parameter so if i activate it i have an special color for the outline of the drawn stroke again when you are in this draw shape mode you have some options some new options and with the stroke tool you cannot replace part of the path because that seems strange but you can uh, automatically start a path or subpath from the exact point from on the original curve. So if I start drawing here and, and here, the endpoint will automatically connect. And this is a still a part of the single object. So the outline will automatically connect like this, like you expect. So you can, you can draw like this. Yeah, these are the usual options. You can activate dashing, but it looks strange. Um, with this stroke tool, you can also copy and paste it as an SVG path. There are a few more new commands related to not just shapes and strokes. They are related to all these vector objects. For example, if I select these four letters, I can align for example their bottoms because I have moved them so they are now aligned I can center them on the canvas I can distribute them equally so to make the spaces between them equal but it's not good for text of course because you want the T to actually be closer to the E and I think that's all. So I hope you will like these uh, changes to the shapes and that you will like the new stroke tool. Please try them out and let me know how they work for you. Until next time.